So hello guys, um, in the last part of the exercise on uh, slabs, we end up here in this point, okay? We are going to define a panel cut, okay? So let's switch robot, we go to structural model geometry, and now I'm going to define a panel cut, I'm going to results menu, panel cuts. I'm going to detail and select the displacements. Okay. And on the definition, I'm going to define here a panel cut, which go which is going to be parallel to the axis Y. Okay, it's going to be parallel to this axis Y. It's going to be panel like panel cut like this, okay? We are in a 2D structure, so every panel cut, every cut is inserted on a vertical plane, okay? And it's going to be parallel to this axis. I only need to define here a point. The point will be 1 minus 5, okay? So I'm going to the parameters now, I'm going to pick the middle layer and on the diagrams I'm going to choose normal, field and labels. I'm going to apply, minimize this and here you've got your panel cut, okay? It's just the displacements over this line that we have defined it here, okay? You've got the displacements, as you can see, over here, okay? Um, I could use this button over here, and it's, it's going to change as I move the cursor. I want this, I'm going to rotate. If I move the cursor once again, now I can minimize and maximize, as you may see. I'm going to the panel cut and deactivate this panel cut over here. Just apply and go to detail and switch off this. Okay, I'm also going to press this. I don't want to see the displacements again. So let's go to the calculation of the requ required theoretical reinforcement area. I've already talked about that. You've got two modules to define the reinforcement area or the rebars. You've got the required, which is also the theoretical area of reinforcement and you've got the provided real area of reinforcement. Now we are going to talk about this one. Okay, now I'm going over here to slab reinforcement design, slab required reinforcement as you may see and uh, I've got three dialog boxes over here. I'm going to maximize the one that is showing the slab. Okay. Plate shell reinforcement. This dialog box you can define whatever you want. I'm going to deselect this and this and for the ultimate limit state for the calculation of the reinforcement area I'm going to choose the combination number 5 and the service limit state. I'm going to choose number 8. Robot is going to calculate the require theoretical reinforcement area for the ultimate limit state number 5 and service limit state number 8. On the method, you've got three methods over here, the analytical, the equivalent moment or wooden armor and the equivalent moments. Okay. The difference between them is that the analytical is really the best one. Okay. If you got uh, complex uh, stresses or uh, stress cases with uh, bending moments 
and uh, axial or membrane forces in your slab wooden armor or the other equivalent moment method is going to give you bad results analytical is the only one that you that you should use when you have a complex state of forces well uh, the analytical method is also the one that takes the longer to calculate it could be five times slower than the other one okay we are going to choose analytical we are also going to choose reduction of forces at support at supports or above columns and walls what is going to happen is that over this support for example robot is going to tell you in this over here in this scalar field that you are going to get turning on the reduction of forces it means that for slab elements supported at the point like this one values of moments and stresses near the support points are sub substituted for the average value from the vicinity of these supports or columns it's a uh, a value closer to the reality okay I'm going to click calculate robot is going to calculate the required reinforcement area me a scalar field okay as a result like uh, the maps that you have for bending moments and uh, stuff like that and now I want to check you've got here four columns x minus y minus x plus and y plus x minus is the bottom reinforcement on the local x panel okay so i'm going to choose here the local systems and when i ask X minus is the bottom reinforcement parallel to this X axis okay when I ask the Y it's the one parallel to this Y axis that you've got here minus being bottom and plus being the upper layers of reinforcements okay so now I'm going to choose the area of reinforcement for this regarding the calculations that we made previously over this dialog box I'm going to apply that and there you go you've got here your areas of reinforcement I forgot this I'm going to scale this to 256 colors there we go notice that you have got no no uh, reinforcement over here I'm going to choose this one over here and the black you can check the values that you've got here now I'm going to select plate and shell reinforcement in a table format you can check that in a table format I'm going to table columns and ask for the spacing in all the direction okay no I only want this one and this one nothing else okay I'm going to press OK there you go and you can check the global extremes of spacing of uh, reinforcement over here now I'm going to close this and uh, I'm running out of time in the next movie in the next video we will talk about the provided reinforcement area okay for this panel thank you very much and uh, please subscribe